Hello and welcome to Blender Bite Size. In this video, I'll be showing you how to make this material procedurally in Blender. Feeling lazy? You can support this channel and skip the hard work by grabbing the blend file for this material from Gumroad for just a pound. Feeling flush? Feel free to throw some of that coin my way using the coffee link in the description below the video. Okay, so I have my object loaded. I'm in the shading tab. I've got the viewport shading enabled and I've already applied a basic principled BSDF material to the object. To start building this, we're going to press Shift A and find a hue saturation node. And we're going to change the hue to 0.7, the saturation to 0.6, and we'll leave the value at 1. For the factor, we're actually going to plug in a noise texture. And we're going to change that to 4D. The W value will set at 1.1. Scale we'll leave at 5, detail at 2, roughness we're going to change to 0, and the distortion we'll leave at 0. I'm going to press Ctrl T to add a texture coordinate and a mapping node to that noise texture. And I'm going to take the object from the texture coordinate and plug it into the vector of the mapping. Next up, I'm going to add a color ramp and then I'm going to change the color by increasing that value all the way to 1 moving saturation down a little bit maybe to 0 0.2 and then the hue, I'm just cycling around till it's in the sort of yellowy, creamy region. Now it's not showing up anywhere right now because I've not got it plugged into anything. So let's get it plugged in so we can see the results of our efforts. I'm going to find a mix RGB. I'm going to take the color from here, plug it into color one, and the color from here and plug it into color two, and set the factor at 0.8. going to set this on the color ramp to B spline and then over here on the principal BSDF we'll plug this in here now so we can see the actual material I'm going to change that to 1.1 that's the subsurface index of refraction metallic crank right up specular drop down to 0.15 Roughness to 0.45. The sheen we're going to set at 0.25. And the sheen tint all the way to 1. Clear coat all the way up. Clear coat roughness to 0.1. We'll leave the main index of refraction at 1.45 and everything else the same. So now we have our cultured pearl. So we can just refine this a little bit to a more pearly colour, so 0.25 on the saturation and 0.1 on the hue. And we'll send that off to render. As ever I'm using a thousand samples and the cycles render engine. Whatever works for you though. And there we go, there's your cultured pearl procedural material. I hope you've enjoyed this video. Please remember to give it a thumbs up, uh, share it wherever you can, and of course subscribe for more content. Thanks for watching.